we've just installed our personal stuff what is personal stuff we have gone to data and Tegros XFCE installation we installed this in the first tutorial then we went on the second tutorial we installed these things except the Compton and the Compis and now we're off to making at last make our system beautiful let's get rid of this can we eject this element let's see if we can do so home oh. there you go I got rid of that and let's make our system more beautiful uh, first off the menu is not to my liking so we're gonna change add new items type in menu we're gonna we want the whisker menu to be added now it's here close move this about to here this one we remove it this one is our new menu let's make it a bit nicer icon title we're on Teros XFCE some spaces let's fix the icon as well if we can image files icons are the icon scalable places for instance is a nice one there are lots of icons you can use any of these icons we're not going to use anything of the sort but something abstract like this maybe a white circle and then show generic don't want to show this a bit smaller bit opaque is a bit nice so that you can make it a bit opaque like so you can see through it and I like that but not too much it's too much like so behavior okay switch categories by hovering yes yes and yes and the menu has changed I still have to do the icons I know they're not nice We'll fix it commands okay search okay that's it for the menu right mouse click on the panel panel preferences horizontal lock panel don't reserve you can change the length if you want to like so um, but I just want to change the appearance now a little bit more transparent you can change it as well when you enter and leave close so now we have a transparent uh, panel okay let's change the icons you can go here you can go to appearance right mouse click add to favorites like so or right mouse click uh, add to panel and then he wants to add a new item let's see okay and then move it to here now I have this little button here we've installed arc that's the this is the standard one the blue one arc dark but we can also use the arc crimson in my case I would like to use the arc dark crimson and then the icons we can use a lot of icons we can use the sardi color of fire brick if you want to keep it red I can use this one that one that one so these are the Sari icons. Sari icons are SVGs. You can change them via a script. It takes three seconds to make a new icon theme and to your liking. Let's go for this one. Sari Mononium Explorer Vampire. <coughs> fonts. Yeah, standard we have the Sans fonts. You can choose any font you want, but it's gonna make a big difference so choosing your font is actually quite important so I'm building up on the Linux Mint experience and I'm using the Noto fonts Noto Sans um, yeah regular is the one I'm using and that's it for here now some of you might have noticed this does not look like art this thing here so we have to change that 
and it's called window so do check this one add to favorites window another window window manager add to favorites so we have them when we go to favorites so this one window manager is the one we're gonna need arc dark crimson and now this looks normal you could also use arc dark or arc crimson because we're just talking about this bar here the window top header whatever this thing up there and we can change that as well Noto Sans regular and make it maybe bold italic why not so you're the boss you can change this element here and center it or anything with do anything with it keyboards my keyboard shortcuts should be here but it might be possible that you should uh, restart the XFCE your log off logon will be enough probably but check that out first um, these things I do not think I've changed these things but you can check it out advanced looks all good but there is the other thing I want to check window manager was it this one no so it is not this one is the other one the manager tweaks I want to be able to this is the compositor so this is quite nice why is this nice the compositor is the one that's making these shadows transparency but you can do more opacity of window decorations so this here you can make that really opaque as you can see non-existing opaque I'd like to make it a little bit opaque so I see through it but I can still read the title here opacity of inactive windows if we have something open and it's not that inact not uh, active anymore you can make it inactive but I don't want to exaggerate on that so I, I need them to be able to read the name when we move stuff around we can make it also opaque Opacity when during resize, if we are resizing elements, like so. It's going to be opaque. And opacity of pop-up windows, so if we have anything, any window that's popping up, a little bit opaque. Do check this out already, we'll need it later. Show shadows under dock windows, not later, let's do it straight away. Show shadows under dock windows that's this here we're gonna delete this panel right mouse click panel and then panel preferences panel 2 is gonna go out by panel 2 and we're gonna run plank plank is popping up and this shadow is emerging show shadows under dock windows bye done so we don't have any shadow anymore and that's taken care of and we can go with control the, the left control and the right click mouse if we get the preferences and with my scripts hundreds of these possible um, templates or themes have been installed let's do a zoom in so we can have this effect as well and that's settled no it's yeah it's settled but it's not settled you go to the start session startup application auto start tell them it's called plank and there you go okay now it will be started when we reboot later on the wallpaper I'm gonna get rid of that I'm gonna run variety Variety is asking some questions. You know I copy pasted, pasted my personal preference over. So everything here, all these elements have been personalized. I'm gonna get my wallpapers from my Dropbox that I have not yet installed. And everything is done. So I just can close it now. And we can go over our variety. And there we go, a bit bright maybe for me. You just scroll over the icon and we have a new one. Let's get rid of this. Right mouse click, desktop settings, icons, don't want it. 
don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. That's it. All the rest I keep off. Okay. For desktops, I have no need for the desktops. Mm, getting rid of them. Let's see, workspace settings. We can go down with one, two, and another one. Can't go anymore. So this is gone. I just have one workspace and two monitors. That's enough. I'm going to remove this, the workspace switcher. So I don't see that anymore. You can move this as well to a place you, to your liking. If you say, I want this really to be in the corner, then nothing is more easier to fix that. That's that. It seems that we have also an update. It's red, meaning Pamak is telling me I should update the lip wacom. Okay, nice. Um, right mouse click as well on uh, Pac-Man, uh, Pamak is the package manager. It's quite interesting to take a look at. Why? Because you can see repositories. These are the Antergos servers. They provide all these packages. And they're the Arch servers, and they provide other packages. As you can see, and you can go over them and analyze it. The states, installed orphans, and so on, and the groups. Uh, the groups that you have, orphans, uh, no, groups, like so, based, based development, all about browsers, and for instance, all about deeping. Editors, you want to fi find out new editors. Okay, set this from coming from Mint, Linux Mint, and so on. Okay. So we are fine-tuning our system. We have changed a lot of things already. Um, let's take on look take, take a look on my other screen to see what I did and the other tutorial. Yeah, what we did forget, for instance, is the terminal. So when we make a terminal, it's ugly. Okay, can we change it? Let's go to the preferences. Appearance, a little bit bigger, select it, background, transparent please, oh nice, we can make it transparent, menu bar, nope, colors, whatever, compatibility, advanced, let's see what we get when we run it now, okay, better, give me a screen fetch, and here we are, this is our screen fetch. Okay, so that's been taken care of already. Um, we've made this transparent. This is the mock shot. So the program mock shot should be installed, otherwise you can't select here an image you can pop in there. Okay, cancel. We did not install the Aureola Conkey. So let's go ahead and add the file manager also. File manager, keep in doc. Firefox also important in front. And we have we have installed Aureola due to the scripts. It's now in a hidden folder. And let's run Acros together and install it, just insta type always install and tap, that's that, Spotify is not yet uh, working and all that, in sync is not working, Dropbox is not there, so that's called normal, and we are on VirtualBox, so CPU temperature is not applicable. We have here the files, so the conkey itself, the thing you see, this here, is in the .config conkey, and I see that this icon is, of course, not oh yeah, what a wallpaper uh, is not correct. Oh, LibreOffice. So again, 
do change it here. Open other applications, sublime, use default, OK. And now we're working. And we have here Linux Mint. And the system is called Tergos. Save it. And I did a typo, I suppose. So Antergos is here. Uh, let's take a look at the typo. Losing my time with an S. Okay. That's that. So we've changed our wallpaper, clearly. We've changed the look of our icons, look of our menu, look of our panel. We added, so we deleted the panel and added the plank. We added Conkey. Other things you could change now is, is maybe Compton or Compass, but I do think that the window manager of uh, XFCE is that beautiful that really do we need an extra window manager. It's quite fast, it's uh, beautiful as it is. And I'm thinking. I have explained everything I think you have to explain to you. So customizing our XFCE has been done. I do think, and I'm checking my paper here. We've changed everything, even the name up here. We've changed everything that needs to be checked and changed. You can, of course, change panels from place and all that. So the panel preferences, do check them out what you can do and so on. You can auto hide it. It's quite useful if you want to, to auto hide it. But um, that's all extra, extra stuff. OK, now it's working. So that's up to you if you want it or not. Um, OK, let's conclude the tutorial here. Have fun using Antagos XFCE.